JMMI used to have 17 million people. Now it's over 90 million people. Glory. That's how much we have grown in the last, listen to me, in the last two years, we went from 17 million people to 90 million people all around the world, supporters. Can you imagine? Glory. And we're not even talking about just the finances. The finances got to even catch up to that. But the finances that have come in has been much greater than we have ever seen in all the years. Amen. It's been amazing. Go ahead, Pastor Joseph. Yes, sir. I mean, we're seeing it over and over again. The doors that are open up, I mean, just the crusades that are being formed right now, the nations that are opening up, and even the, the staff that's growing, and the those that are getting involved in mentorship, those that are being involved in the intercessory team, those are being Yes, and I want to say this. I want to say, let me, let me, I don't mean to cut you off, but when Bishop Scott was saying this, this, I'm going to say this, to you all who want to relocate, be in full-time ministry, and really do ministry around the world, this is the time to be a part or join the staff. I open this ministry up to you to be a part. And so God has given us the money to buy so many campuses. We're establishing campuses all over America right now for the workers and the laborers who want to be full-time missionaries to America and the world. How many of you want to serve God full-time? Glory. Come on. Glory. And so I am, I am, with the money I'm buying, God told me to buy your room and board, to pay for your your food, your transportation. All we want you to do is come here and serve. Amen. So I want you to know the ministry is open to those who, and some, God has been giving you dreams. He's given you visions to be a part of JMM. And some of you have been procrastinating, you've been dragging. Some of you have been wanting to come, but we don't have the space. But now we are we are increasing space so that we can have more people to come and serve God. Go ahead, Joseph. What do you think? Uh, okay. Yes, sir. And it's awesome, Pastor, what you're doing. And we just appreciate you so much because what you're doing has not been seen. It's not on this on the scene today. It's revolutionary. And I've, I've been to schools. I've been to universities that I pay $40,000, $60,000. dollars and wish I could get that money back because I didn't learn a, a percentage of what I'm learning here, Apostle, with what you're teaching us and teaching us the real way, the real ancient way. And like you said, sir, so many people are calling in that where Jesus is personally appearing to them and telling them to come and learn from his friend, from you, sir. And that, I mean, it's amazing. We know that God is summoning the labors here because of, you know, how important this is. The harvest is ready. The labors are you and you're doing exactly what is needed to get the harvest. You're doing the campus for the harvest, training laborers, and this is a, it's the best thing in the world to be full time. If you've been waiting, and listen, I've been part time. I've been you know serving another state, and and I, I know that you know when God called me, I mean it was. I'm so glad I obeyed because it's so much more like. I don't, you just get so much more when you're here in obedience to God than serving from the distance when God wants you to be full time. Apostle yes, Taylor, you, you used to Joseph, you used to be part time, did you not? Yes, sir, I did. But now, now you're full time, and tell the people just a little bit about that. Then I want to hear from Bishop Scott. Just yes, sir. And I, I was you know part time over in uh, Indiana doing some things, and you know getting blessed and getting you know still coming to the meetings and everything, and you know, that's where God you know had me at the moment. But when He said to be full time, you know I did. I, I didn't. I dreamt.